Welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at problem 53. It is from chapter 22 of College Physics by OpenStax. Okay, so we have a wire carrying 400 amps to the motor of a commuter train. The wire feels an attractive force due to a parallel wire carrying 5 amps to a headlight. We need to figure out how far apart the wires are and if the currents are in the same direction. Okay, so let's write down what we know. Okay, so we can say that current 1 is 400 amps. Okay, we have a force per length. of 4.00 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons per meter. And we have a second current of 5 amps. Okay, and so we need to find the distance between them. We'll call that R. Okay, so for part A, we know the force per length between two parallel wires is mu zero, current one, current two, all over two pi r, where r is the distance between them. Okay, so we need to solve this for r. Okay, we can multiply both sides by r. We'll get r times f over l is equal to mu zero i1 i2 over 2 pi. And now we just have to divide by the f over l. So r equals mu zero i1 i2 over 2 pi. And we have an f over l. Okay, so we can find the r now. Let's plug in all the quantities. Mu zero is four pi times 10 to the minus seven Tesla meters per amp. Current one is the 400 amps. Current two is the five amps. You can divide that by two pi. And then the force per length is four times 10 to the minus three Newtons per meter. Okay, I did all that, and the R I found was 0 0.100 meters. So that's how far apart they are, basically 10 centimeters. Okay, now part B is, are the currents in the same direction? Let's put part B over here, and we can say yes. The currents are in the same direction, same direction, because the force is attractive. All right, that's going to do it for that problem. I hope that was informative and helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.